In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a classic Dumbo. So I've used licorice to colour the grey and the black, then pink, melon, red extra and baby blue. So this is Renshaw's sugar paste and I've added Tylo powder to it. The Tylo powder will help hold its shape and will allow me to model it easier. So I have about a third of the paste here. I'm just going to form the shape of the body. We're looking for a cone shape, but not too pointy, not too wide at the bottom. And you can see I've flattened it slightly. I'm just going to press this down onto a little board. And that's all we really need to do to the body. So now forming a sausage shape, I'm going to start working on his legs. So I'm just positioning the leg and then deciding how far I want that leg to come away from the body. Then I'll just cut the other one to match. So to form the shape of the legs, just rolling this leg between my fingers, and you'll see it creates like a little groove here and then shape. Just press up a little bit so we've got more of a shape there. And then also just here, we'll roll it again. Now to pop these in place, I am going to attach them and blend them in a little bit. With a bit of water, just some over the over the join. Then just using the dress down, and then encouraging that paste to join the main body. I'm just going to swap to the wider side of it and smooth in a little bit. So I'm going to add a couple of wrinkles as well because elephants are generally quite wrinkly. I'm just using the small cutter, the small oval to put some pieces for the detail on his feet. Just cut those in half. Add a bit of water and then just arrange those in place. And that's how that's looking so far. So for the front legs, looking for the same thickness again. I'm just going to measure 
how long that needs to be. So I'm just lining it with the top of the body. So shaping these legs in exactly the same way as the other legs, and another crease further up. So this encourages like a little knee area. There isn't that much shape to an elephant's legs. It is important that you don't overdo this because sometimes it can look really unshapely if you make these little creases in the legs too deep. So again, I'm going to add some more little wrinkles. And let's get some little toes on there again. I'm just going to attach those again with a little water. And then I'm just going to attach them to the body. So I'm going to lose a little bit of the bulk here. So turning it on its side, just cut a little bit away. And then using some water, just attach that. So I'm just forming it. So it just attaches nice and neatly to the body. I will just blend that in, but you probably won't even notice it. So for the collar, I'm going to roll a sausage of red and roll over it. I'm just going to make sure I've got a nice neat finish there. Then take some yellow. And roll another sausage. Again, nice neat edges. You could, you could quite easily do this with a strip cutter. And then just run it down the middle of this strip. I'm just going to roll this together and blend the pastes together. And then we want a little bit of a pleat. 
I'm just folding, pleating the paste, and this is the side that's going to attach to the body. A little bit of water on the body, and just get that in place. Encourage a bit of a lift. Now I do need to add a stick into his body. I'm using a lolly stick. Just adding a little bit of water to it, which will encourage it to stay in place and not move around in the sugar paste. And just carefully, I'm going to twist it down the body, nice and slowly. And then just cut it about an inch above. So for the shape of the head, I want a bit of an oval shape. Okay, so form, so you've got this oval shape. Then form a little bit of a crease. So you're adding a little bit of shape. And then Using my fingers, I'm just sort of pressing up a little bit from the bottom and pressing down a bit from here. Again, really gentle. And then we've got the shape of his cheeks there and his head. And his eyes will just come here. I'm just going to have a look at that. And that's the kind of shape you're looking for. Now with the larger cutters, I'm just going to place where his eyes are going to go. Then the other side. And just press that into the paste a little bit. I'll cut two eyes from the white. Now with the smaller one, I'm going to cut two irises. couple of pupils so roll out sausage then just cut a couple of pieces off that sausage and then add those onto the blue Okay, now these can go into the eye sockets. What I'm going to do is actually press them in a little bit more. So I'm just going to add a couple of little creases on his forehead. I 
I'm just going to form a carrot shape. So for this end, I'm just going to add a bit of shape to it with the dressing tool. So it looks like that. And then I'm just going to flatten the side that's going to attach to the face. Just so I've got a nice, neat join there. Then with a bit of water, I'll get that in place. And I'm just going to join that to the face by blending it in slightly, using a bit of water to help. I'm just going to wipe some of that water off there. And I'm going to give him a little bit of a smile. So right under here, just use the Dresden tool to give him a bit of a mouth. And you can give him some dimples as well. A little dimple there. And let's add some creases into the trunk. Try and curve them a little bit. And I'm just going to arrange his trunk so he curls under a little bit. roll them out and what I'm trying to form is a teardrop kind of shape so keeping it thinner there and rolling out more at the base now these don't need to be too big we know Dumbo's got big ears but for the model it doesn't need to be quite as big so I'm just going to check and they're definitely big enough we can always cut them down if we need to so I need another one that shape. So two triangular shapes, but they're nice and soft. They're not pointy anywhere. So same for the pink. Get a teardrop kind of shape going on. And then roll them into that triangular kind of shape. Okay, so we just need to trim the edges for that because it's looking a little bit dry and they've started to crack. So placing the pink on top of the grey. I'm just going to paint the back of his head with some water and his body because these ears will attach to part of his body as well. So just give it a little bit of a bend here. Bend it over slightly and attach to the head. So 
but it's also attached at the back. We can bring it out a little bit more. So from the back, you can see where it's attached. And then we'll get some water on the join. And just blend that in a little bit there. And then do the same for this one. Bend it over slightly and attach to the side of the head there and the back. A little bit of water there just to blend into the top of the head. So I do want to add a little bit more shape to these ears. So I'm just going to cut a little bit away from the bottom. Have a look. Just tidy up that. And you can see that looks a little bit better than just having these round ears. Okay, so for his hat, we just need a cone shape. Just flatten that down a little bit. Just gonna check it for size. And around the base of that, you want to strip. Okay, so I'm just going to curl up the top, just soften it slightly, a bit more shape to it. This needs to be bent. You're going to need a couple of creases in it. and then attach the base. Encourage it to crease. Actually, the base is a little bit too tall. I'm just gonna cut a little bit off, reshape it that back up, that's better. And there we go. There's Dumbo.